Today, I'm going to be covering a lot of different news that we have about the upcoming Rift Tour event. Now, I know that this has been, like, covered so many times by a bunch of different YouTubers, but I decided to group all of the news that we actually have about it, everything that we know about it, into one convenient spot, so that for those of you guys that have not been paying attention to some of these updates about it, you guys will actually know everything that you need to know before August 6th, when the Rift Tour actually happens. So, let's jump right into the video. Alright, so to start it off, basically, this is obviously going to be happening August 6th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Now, this does actually change depending on what region you're in. So, if you want to watch this, if you're in Asia and Oceania, then this will actually happen on August 8th. Now, there is actually nothing stopping you from just swapping to the NA servers and then watching the event over here. You will have a bit of higher ping, but it is still a way to watch it, even if you are not on the North American continent. So, the first thing is out of the way when it's going to be happening. Basically, Basically, everyone already knew that, but for those of you who don't, I don't know why you wouldn't, hey, there's the information. So, now we're going to move on to the second point that I have, and this one is actually a lot bigger. Now, a lot of people thought that this concert was only going to be Ariana Grande, because it says a record-breaking superstar collide. Now, uh, Ariana Grande has obviously been teased and leaked in the files for a while, but in a recent post from Fortnite, they said that the Fortnite Rift Tour is a new way to experience musical performances by top artists. A magical journey, in-game rewards, and more. So, the, basically, I emphasize the word there, but it is artists plural. Now, what this means is that we are definitely going to be seeing multiple artists actually perform at the event. So, it's not only going to be Ariana Grande, but we're also going to be seeing a few other people. As to who they are going to be, I have honestly no clue. This could be anyone from, like, Lil Nas X to DaBaby. I, I honestly have no clue, guys. This could be a million different people, but we'll actually learn more about this, now this leads me straight into my third point about the Rift Tour, is that we are going to be getting more news on who is performing, what's going to be happening, everything about it on August 2nd. That's right, Fortnite has actually confirmed that they are going to be giving us more information about this event come August 2nd, so just stay tuned for that because then we'll actually know maybe who else is going to be performing alongside Ariana Grande, and also we're just going to be getting a ton of news about it, like where exactly on the map it's going to be happening. If it is also crossed over with the abduction event, which I also leads me perfectly into my next point, and I believe that yes, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, these two events are going to be combined. Now, the reason because of that is because as Fire Monkey and someone else on Twitter actually spotted out in the Bloodsport trailer, who's actually coming on August 3rd, they saw that in the trailer, you can actually see the remains of abducted slurp. Swamp. Now, the reason that this is so huge is because Bloodsport is obviously coming August 3rd. So that means that not long after he actually gets released, we will be seeing the abduction of both Coral Castle, Slurpy Swamp, and the other places that are getting abducted. Now, since there's literally only one live event that's actually coming up very, very soon, it's most likely going to be this Rift Tour concert that actually creates that abduction. Now, the one thing that I am very confused about, though, is how this will work with five different concerts. Because let's think about it. If the abduction of Coral Castle, Slurpee Swamp, actually happens on August 6th at 6 p.m., how is it going to happen again the next day on August 7th at 2 p.m., right? Because the POIs have already been abducted by the mothership. How are they going to get abducted again? So I'm just interested to see how Fortnite is actually going to do this, how they're going to pull off the concert, how they're going to combine it with the other things. Again, we are going to be learning more about this come August 2nd, so make sure that you stay tuned to the channel and stay subscribed, all that good stuff, so that you know everything about the Rift Tour concert as we actually get closer to it. Remember, this is happening on August 6th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, so make sure to be there if you want to RSVP for it. All you need to do is press that. Now, technically, it's not an RSVP. You still do want to log into the game about an hour early just to make sure that the servers do not fill up and that you will actually be able to queue into the special game mode that will actually allow you to watch the event without getting killed by other enemy players. So that is basically all the news that we have about Rift Tour at this point in time. Again, like I've said, like three times 
times, make sure you stay tuned to the channel on August 2nd because I will be covering all of the new news that we actually get then. But up until then, if you guys found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel to stay updated on all your information about the Rift Tour. But like I said, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next one.